How are you all doing? Offer again and today we're gonna talk some blues, but first of all, let's see if I got the blues today, all right? interesting blues action there so before we talk about the blues I want to talk about myself actually and how I went full circle with the blues so I started playing guitar when I was around 12 years old and prior to that I really got into bands like Led Zeppelin, uh, Deep Purple, Jimi Hendrix a lot of the blues based uh, 70s, 60s, 70s rock bands and I say blues bands because they were actually blues bands just like on steroids and, and that really was the essence of rock and roll, of heavy music for me. And after that I got more and more into heavier music like uh, death metal, thrash metal, bands like Slayer, uh, Megadeth, Pantera, Death, uh, Dayside. I even had a black metal period where I listened to uh, Immortal and uh, Emperor and Mayhem, I don't know. But through the years I kind of went full circle and got back more and more into blues based bands and such as Deep Purple, and Van Halen, and Rat, just to name a few. And right now I really feel that the whole blues phase of rock and roll music is the essence of, of heavy metal, of rock and roll, like the blues. And in today's music, a lot of the bands ignore it completely and it's a shame because there is so much to benefit as a guitar player as a band from the blues. Listen to Van Halen, it's all like blues based stuff. And it's so cool, it's so spontaneous. Uh, the syncopation, so cool. Anyways, uh, the whole blues is an art. You, can, you don't have to play to a backing track, I think that gets kind of boring after a while. It's very cool to just get the shuffle going like I did before by yourself and learning how to put the leaks inside. It's so fun and it's, it's so inspirational because just like it's so easy the, the rhythm of the blues it's easy to play but it's like rolling and shuffling and I don't know for me it really it gave me so much going back to the blues and to blues based music in recent years that I really recommend you to try this exercise or just work on your bed. There's all aspects of blues. It's an art. There's like the the BB um, King style where you kind of go for one note and anyway. It's it's an all art and you can benefit so much from playing the, the easiest stuff. And another cool thing about the blues is repetition. A lot of a lot of the blues leaks and the greatest blues players they repeat, they kind of get a theme going and they repeat it a few times and make some variations 
midway kind of, let's say, let's say this is our theme, all right? So you see, I went like for a theme the whole time I tried to get it as much as I can back into the main theme but I always made variations and always made something new going on and if you listen to the greatest blues players, uh, Buddy Guy, B.B. King, uh, Chuck Berry, whoever, they repeat themselves, but they change it through the way. And I think that's an all art. And it's a hard thing to do. Like, as guitar players, we want to go as crazy as possible the whole time. But trying to hold yourself back and going back into this uh, idea that you had at the beginning and developing it into a whole sequence that's an art for me and I think you could really enjoy it and benefit from it as a guitar player, as a musician, as a composer, whatever. The blues, it gets all aspects of music into it. So rock hard guys, keep the blues going and uh, see you next time. Please subscribe to this channel, I got a lot more videos coming up and don't miss it, ring the bell. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and of course keep rocking. I'll see you next time, bye bye.